Hi, I'm James Beck, Chief Scientific Officer of the Parkinson's Foundation. Each year, the Parkinson's Foundation funds the most innovative and promising ideas in Parkinson's disease research. In the past, research we have funded has led to significant advances in the field. In our unwavering commitment to progress, we support all types of scientists across the world. We believe the next breakthrough in Parkinson's disease research can occur at any time from any lab. Today, you will hear from three researchers whose studies were funded by the Parkinson's Foundation. Deep brain stimulation, also known as DBS, is a surgical treatment used to manage Parkinson's symptoms. DBS is typically considered for people with Parkinson's who have not responded well to medication or experience significant medication-related side effects. In DBS, electrodes are surgically implanted into specific regions of the brain associated with motor function. These electrodes are then connected to an impulse generator, similar to a pacemaker. The device sends electrical impulses to the targeted areas of the brain, helping to regulate abnormal neural activity and alleviate motor symptoms such as tremors, stiffness, and slowness of movement. Dr. Coralie de Hemptine is at the Norman Fixell Institute for Neurological Diseases at the University of Florida. She received the Parkinson's Foundation Stanley Fine Junior Faculty Award to study ways to make DBS stimulation more effective by speeding the programming process. Her research is developing an algorithm that can identify the appropriate stimulation values for each person with PD using their own brain signals. Currently, the way DBS programming works is patient would get implanted with the DBS device and then they would come back in clinic frequently. The way we envision the future of DBS is instead of doing that manual trial and error process is to identify in the brain a signal that can tell us more specifically what parameters to use. So what we do is we record brain signals both during DBS surgery implantation and when the patient is in clinic. We record the brain activity while delivering stimulation with different stimulation parameters. And we look at the response associated to that stimulation parameter. The hypothesis is that the brain would react differently with different stimulation parameters and that for each patient, one set of parameter would trigger or induce a larger response to the brain activity that can be used to develop the algorithm. Levodopa is considered the gold standard for the treatment of Parkinson's disease symptoms since its release in the late 1960s. Although it is a highly effective medication, scientists are still researching ways to improve the medication for all users. Dr. Christine Olson at the University of California, San Francisco received a Parkinson's Foundation postdoctoral fellowship. She's studying whether altering the bacteria in a person's gut can improve the absorption of levodopa, leading to improved PD symptoms. Some research from our lab and others demonstrates that common gut bacteria have enzymes that can metabolize levodopa efficiently in laboratory settings, but whether this affects patient response is not known. That's what my research is focused on addressing, is whether gut bacterial metabolism in patients could affect how well they respond to levodopa as critical drug for Parkinson's disease treatment. Through an ongoing clinical trial for patients with Parkinson's disease and in Parkinson's disease models, we're testing a mild antibiotic that targets gut bacteria expressing these enzymes that metabolize levodopa. We're asking across these models and in human patients whether there's any correspondence between eliminating these bacteria and improvement in clinical responsiveness and whether we can trace the metabolites and bacteria that are responsible for any effects we noticed. We hope that this may improve dosing strategies in the future and provide more insight into patient variability in response to levodopa. Learning more about how Parkinson's disease progresses is a priority to the Parkinson's Foundation, as well as to researchers. Dr. Taya Kam of Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine received the Parkinson's Foundation Stanley Fon Junior Faculty Award to study the role of an enzyme called PARP1 in Parkinson's disease. The goal of his work is to halt the progression of Parkinson's by exploring different mechanisms that target this enzyme. We originally found that the arpa plane induced a neural cell death via PARP1 dependent matter, which means that the targeting the PARP1 inhibition could be the new therapy target for the Parkinson's disease. The research sponsors from the Parkinson's foundations, I propose to identify the two novel regulators of PARP1 enzyme. One that's the upstream regulators that 
regulating the activity of PARP1, and the other is a downstream regulators that activate it and actually cause a neural cell death after PARP1 activation. From our research, we will provide a new multi phase set therapy targets against the neural cell death on the Parkinson's disease. With these researchers and many others who are funded by the Parkinson's Foundation, we continue moving towards groundbreaking discoveries. To learn more about how we're advancing Parkinson's disease research towards a cure, visit parkinson.org research.